All right, welcome back to this lesson. First, we need to work with animation, but before that, I just want to add uh, two buttons. Uh, first button just going to be for uh, the close of the menu, so we need to close the menu. So I have, let me just go to the home button here and just duplicate it, as you can see here. So I ju I'm just going to go here and say this is the close button. I also need to duplicate this close button and make another instance of it. Let's say this is the um, settings. Uh, this is the menu button. So I'm just going to add a menu button, as you can see here. Let's say uh, menu button. Okay. This way. All right. So uh, I need to change the position of these items. So if you go, for example, here to the menu button, put it here. Or let me just put it here at the bottom. And double click on the menu button, and let's just go here, put the anchor here, and just kind of change the anchors to the border to make it responsive as we agreed before. So I just gonna come here, make it responsive, and change the sprite of it. You can choose whatever sprite you have. Um, I just want to put this sprite here. All right. Uh, also, I have to, um, yeah, I have to go, let me just check the sprites that I have here. All right. Uh, let's, let's use any, uh, any of these sprites. Let's use, for example, the home sprite. All right. So you can, for example, click here and change the color of it. So to be something like green I guess this is a good color <laughs> yeah this one let's try yellow maybe yellow is great here wait a minute here's yellow yeah awesome so we're just going to use this uh, color for the menu. And also we have here a close button. So if you just move this close button, put it somewhere here. All right. So it's just going to be here. And this button, we have to move its anchor. So if you put the anchor here in the center, and after that, just move the anchors to be here. I guess that's, that will be good here. But I do recommend to bit to put this uh, close bet inside the menu. So I just gonna take this pen and put it here inside the menu. All right. But notice when once we uh, did this, the menu, the the close bet, because we have a mask attached to the menu. Let me just put it outside the menu, so you can put it anywhere you want or you can do it another other way you can go to do something else here like let me just do this create a new empty game object and put this outside here and let's just say here menu menu container con container like this and I want to put the menu inside the menu container and I want to put the close button here but not before the menu after the menu all right this is the menu container that I have so if you just click on the menu container just gonna see it just right there and you can control the menu control, uh, container here. So you can change. Notice here when you change the container, you change everything. But let's say we're just going to keep it as it is like this. All right, this is the menu container that I have. Uh, we have the close button here. Let me just put the close back button icon, which is, I guess, this one. Yeah, so right now, all is good. Yeah. We have this close band and just working fine. All right, so let me just go right now to uh, here. This is the menu container. 
and I just want to check the anchors of it so let's put them here left and put this also here at the center all right it's not responsive but what about if you try to make it responsive we're not gonna do that actually but if you try that if you try that make it something like this so we put the anchor outside of the element you can see we, we can still get something responsive and this is really good so you have to play with anchors a lot of time and to make some kind of responsiveness for your menu yeah we created the menu container here as you can see so we can uh, attach the you know we can run uh, when you click here for example we're just gonna show up the menu and when you click here just gonna close the menu but first we have to attach a script to the menu so I'm just gonna come here and make a new script I'm just gonna name it as menu uh, controller let's say menu or yeah menu controller like that in your script so create an add and after that we're just gonna have a menu controller here so double click on the menu controller and we need to add a function here to just to toggle these pins so we have two buttons here one button gonna show the dialog and one button gonna hide the dialog so I can come here and just make two small functions let's say public uh, void show dialog and just gonna make another function here name it hide dialog all right and here I, I need to make something called animator so you have to type public animator and M okay all right so inside the show dialog we're just gonna show the dialog and inside the hide dialog we're just gonna hide the dialog but we need to associate these two uh, the, these two parameter with a function we need to test that so we have to type debug and in order to make debug in the console we have to use debug.log and here let's say we have a string and I can copy here copy this and paste here just copy the function name and put it here in order to test the functionality here just gonna save this and here just gonna link these buttons with here link these buttons with it with with the with this function so the functions the function is attached to the menu container here okay and you can see here we got an animator so I have to come here and add an animator to the menu in menu container animator it's empty animator that's okay and also I have to attach the menu container to itself so if you um, if you come here I have to test the menu container to itself here inside this position anim so because the menu container got an animation and we need to use this animator inside the code so we have to drag it here uh, okay uh, we need to test uh, the things here so I have to go to the first button here and add a and add a uh, function to it which is menu container here and add the game object that contains the script which is here uh, menu container and also I have to go to the close button and also add the same thing here add menu container the object that contains the script so which is menu container here because menu container got the script of menu controller so it is uh, the script that we are looking for so here I go close and once you go close we have function you have to go menu controller and call the function that you want so here we're talking about hide dialog and here the main in the min, uh, menu button we're talking about uh, show dialog so we here configured the 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 buttons so right now if you click play yeah we click play you can uh, go to the console here if you don't see the console you can go window and here just gonna see console so you have to here so you had to clear the console and 
make sure that you toggle all these panes. Click here. You can see we are calling the hide dialog. If you remove collapsed, you can see here many times. When you click collapse, you can see we call this function five times. So click here. I always recommend to make collapsed. And you can call the other function here, which is show dialog. So in the next video, we just want to make the animation and we just want to uh, let you know how to uh, make it works with Unity. So thank you guys again for watching this video. See you in the next lesson.